This video is the start of a new chapter in which we will talk about security. The first thing that we will do is to protect ourselves from the SQL injection attack. In this video, we will try to understand what is this attack and how it works. An SQL injection attack is used to attack data-driven applications. Well, our application is a data-driven application, so now we may be subject to this attack. This is how it works. Imagine a search form that is used to search for users. You use the data submitted by the form to create a query that you send to the database. So in this case, you select everything from the table users where the username is Philip. And Philip is the data that was submitted by the form. Now imagine that some malicious user submits a snippet of SQL code in the form. In that case, the query becomes select everything from the TBL users, where the username is an empty string, semicolon, drop TBL users. Now in SQL, the semicolon is used to separate different statements. So here the select statement will retrieve data from the database, and then the drop statement will delete the users table from the database. And the result is that you lose all your users. So you get the idea, and I think that you can easily imagine what can be achieved by this attack. By submitting the proper SQL snippet, you can have access to sensitive information, such as the list of usernames, a list of passwords, a list of email addresses, or even credit card numbers. Why not? So how to protect ourselves against it? Well, in ColdFusion, we have the CF query param tag, and this tag is used to define query parameters and their data type. So if the database expects a string of text, we can define it using the CF query param, and that string of text will never be interpreted as a snippet of SQL code. So this is how we can prevent ourselves from this attack, and in the next video, we will implement the CF query param tag in our application.